Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk and today I am back with a project for the gorgeous, oh there's all my bits, Good Morning Magnolia stamp set and the DSP. Now this is a beautiful stamp set for anybody who loves colouring and flowers and also for lovely sentiments. So you've got, it's a two part stamp set, so you've got this beautiful big floral image, leaves, a bud, some lovely sentiments including just generally useful ones saying hello and thanks and thinking of you. There is also dies. I'll be doing some other work with this. So there are dies to cut out the image. There are dies to cut out other shapes and outlines as well. And then there's the paper. Okay, so here's the paper. And um, you've got lovely sort of petal pink um, on the one side and then background ones um, on the other side. So here's the paper. So that's the other side and stripes lovely images here with some gorgeous um sort of petal pink um colors again the black flowers with the with the green the one i've used then there's another one which is slightly more white so there's quite a range so they're not all really heavy so if you're not keen on black with your flowers there's lots of other choices i mean for example on that one we've got black on the one side it's that beautiful floral image black on this side but it's beautiful stripes so either really is something for everyone in this um stamp set again a stamp set in this paper so again sort of a range of kind of flowers just a background ones and some super colors in there as well so you've got sort of black as well but early espresso some mossy meadow um petal pink but just so saffron there as well for the for the for the buds of the flowers just a hint in the middle and today um this isn't a new one i've just realized i've got ink all over that that's not good um but this is um just a, a nice um mini album to make um, great one for for classes i did one in my class recently um because it's it just uses a sheet of 12 by 12 paper and it likewise if you want to do an album to give to somebody this is a super one so as you open i've put the big floral image here i'm going to use this bit for some journaling and um, and you'll see i've put the sizes as we go through so each of these will become a photo mat so um you can see here lots of space for photographs and then again i've done a bit of stamping on here and some space for mats um and that's how we create our album so I'm actually just going to talk you through the creation of the album, focus on some colouring. So our album is made from a sheet of 12 by 12 and you're going to cut that into three um, four inch pieces. And each of those pieces you're going to score the first one at two and three quarters, the second one at four inches and the third piece at five and a quarter. And then when you fold those on top of each other, they will each layer up to create our album as you can see here okay so to get that pretty edge on on the end I've used one of the dies and also you could vary how you wanted to use it but if you use it um, the way I did you can just line it up if I show you how I've done it with the edge of the, the card like so run that through with your magnetic plate on your big shot and you'll get that pretty scalloped edge and then do exactly the same on the longer piece and if you do that to all of your pieces you will then end up with your mini album so if you imagine that all of those pieces had been die cut what i'll then show you is, is um what you do is you line all of these up and then just use a hole punch and I've preset mine to uh, about an inch in. So make sure they're all nicely lined up. And then you should find you've got a centre mark on your punch. Do you have a mind? Put it all the way in and punch once from the, the bottom and once from the top. And all you do is then thread some ribbon and that will create your binding. And I've used some of the beautiful ribbon that comes um, with this particular uh, suite. And I've just put that ribbon through there. 
actually you can see it's a lovely sort of neutral ribbon and I've just tied it in a knot to kind of keep it quite flat as well so whoever you're going to give that to by the time it's got we'll have a bit more bulk by the time it's got your photographs in so that then creates our, um, um, our album um, and as you go through you want to cut um, five pieces five six pieces one, two, three four five, five pieces i thought it, thought it was more yes five pieces which are t uh, one and a half by four inches and that just gives enough for most of those to just tuck it in and, and have a border and um, there's a couple where i've le it's left a little bit short so you might want to go to two inches or one and three quarter inches um, but again the same technique again you just take your uh, piece of dsp each take each piece individually pop um, using a magnetic plate or a piece of washi tape to keep it in place pop that through and that will create this scalloped edge here so on the first um, page I'm, as I said, I'm going to do some journaling on the next one I've done a two and a half by four inch mat and I've also used one of the flowers here so here's the flower and then all you do is you just take the corresponding die um, which cuts that out and you'll see with the new dies uh, so these are new ones now that um, are made by stamping up themselves and these fit really snugly um, around it so they cut on the inner edge so as you line it up you'll see it fits very very snugly to the image so you stamp your image in um, memento black as as always then all you do is pop that um, I usually colour first uh, cut first and then colour it depends on how, what I'm doing um, unless I'm using my stamp apparatus so you'll see that then die cuts out our flower and all I've done to colour the flower if I show you here is I've used light and dark petal pink and I haven't coloured the whole flower so I've just kind of covered sort of two thirds probably of, of, of the flower like so I've then come in with the dark petal pink and this is a kind of a, almost got a hint of apricot it's more of an apricot pink um, and I'm particularly focusing on where those shaded lines are so I'm going to focus on that bit here here at the base and then you come in I come in with my light again and just to blend that in but it's because the magnolia is really sort of you know quite um, white at the, at the tips then I'm using my light mossy meadow to colour the leaves in and the stem now you could go to town and sort of use lots of different um, colours if you, if you wanted to um, but I sort of to stick to those sort of combi pairs you know they're an investment so you don't you know you might not have quite all of the colors that you want so if you go for a pair you know you're going to kind of get in effect get three colors because you've got the light you've got the dark and then you've got the kind of area where you've blended and gone over a second time so that creates our pretty flower there and then for the front I've done exactly the same with with the flower I've gone for my light pink all over I've just used a bit of daffodil delight and I've actually hand cut so you'll see this is the flower that I create that is stamped and what I've done here is I've trimmed away you can see trimmed away this large leaf here and I've actually trimmed away that leaf and then tucked it back behind um, so I've trimmed away this big leaf here so I've attached that to the front panel then as I've gone through um, two and a half by four inches we've got four by three and a half inches and for your layers you would just want to take that down by a quarter of an inch for your photograph to create that layer and then two quite large pictures there now again you could just put pictures in you could add journaling I've sort of left some white space either side for journaling 
and then finally on this last page I've deliberately done two large photo mats and some space at the side here for some journaling as well so a little bit of a different video it's kind of not making something from scratch um, I'll put all the measurements onto my blog for you but it's really just to showcase this beautiful suite so you have got stamps you've got dies you've got paper that coordinates um, and you've got some lovely stamping blends to really make a very effective project so here's Ma here's Magnolia Lane I hope you've enjoyed it um, and if you want any more information or any details on how to construct it just let me know and uh, I'll do my best to help thanks for watching and um, pop along to my blog if you'd like the measurements and if you'd like the links to the various items in the Stampin' Up shop and um, you can find that at flutterbyheidi.co.uk uh, or follow the links to the shop on heidismith.stampinup.net thank you for watching bye